Ah, excuse me. Welcome back, everyone. Oh my gosh. I am disgusting. That's why I just started the that. That's why I started to start the that. What the heck? I can't even talk now. That's why I decided to start this episode with a freaking burp. Because that's my weakness. But the reality is, we're here to see Inka's weakness, not my weakness. So, I mean, what the heck. Let's go see a weakness now, shall we? Or hear about it, or, you know, I don't know, read it. Whatever you want to do, I don't know. Dot, 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 dot. Do you maintain your weapon yourself? Other people can't do it. It looks like you can't do it yourself either. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not as strong as you. Hmm? I'm done. There's no more problems. Do you want to rest a bit? I have some coffee. No need. You don't like it? No need. I don't want to drink it. Nor do I like. Nor do like it. Are you two having some afternoon coffee? No, it seems that Inka doesn't like to drink coffee. If you don't like the bitterness, why don't you put some milk in it? And have some milk coffee? Add some of this warm milk I brought! Here, try some! What? what People drink this stuff? What's wrong? It's not bitter anymore, right? Cow's milk? It... it'll kill people! Nonsense! Cow's milk lets people feel re-energized! Hmm, Riella does always seem to be energetic. Look, milk is my favorite! But if you drink too much, it's not good for you. Utter nonsense! <laughs> I see what you did there. The more you drink, the healthier you'll be! That statement has no basis. Don't you think my body is strong? I've never had a broken bone, and I've always had more stamina than others. Ever since I was small, I've never needed to see the doctor for my colds. But come strong... Dot dot dot. Then I'll have some... Forget it. Never mind. Relax, I'm not tricking you. Oh, so that's how it is. So you know the power of milk, too? I'm not talking about the milk. I'm talking about your attitude. Eh? You said you used used to feel like an outsider. Second Lieutenant Gunther's squad. Their squad members were all open about their ideas. Riella was just like them a second ago, freely expressing her thoughts. If Kurt likes it this way, then I'll keep talking like this. If you're like this, everyone will talk to you. Really? What did you say, Inka? No. I still won't drink it. Is she challenging me? I... I don't know. Is she? You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. You tell me. You want to tell me that the Valkyria is the salvation of the world? No, of course not! Mm. Why would that be? That wouldn't make any sense. Do you know about the Valkyria salvation theory? No, I don't know a thing about Yggdism. Then I'll explain it to you simply. That way you will understand the kind of man you are escorting to the border. I see. Go on. In ancient times, the darks and scorched the earth so deeply that there was no place left to live. The Valkyria, also known as the Azure Saviors, came to save mankind. I believe this Valkyria salvation story exists for the common people to spread. To save mankind. That's right. One day the Valkyria will return and save the Earth. No matter your race or social standing, everyone will be saved. If you say it like that, it's easy to understand Yggdism. But I don't believe that the Valkyria really exists. Oh, Kurt, you don't understand it all, good sir. If only you knew, you already met one! You met one in that, uh, that Welkin squad. Also, there's gonna be another one later on, too. Named, uh, I forget what the heck her freaking name is, actually. But, uh... Actually, wasn't she artificially created? Nah, she probably doesn't count, actually. But I don't know, still. But I don't believe that Valkyrie really exists, and I don't believe in God, either. Because I've never seen them with my own eyes. 
There is nothing wrong with your reasoning. Even I have not met them. But the important thing isn't whether the Valkyria exists or not. It's about giving people hope. People need to believe they'll be saved. Religion can end wars, and it can guide people to walk on the correct path. Can't we rely on our own strength to save ourselves? Why should humanity wait for help? Not everyone has your capability or status. For some, all they can do is wait. I'm sorry, but I can't understand what you say. You don't need to force it. Just leave a little room in your heart for these thoughts and that'll be enough. Your words are quite interesting. I am quite thankful. Are you now, Kurt? Are you really thankful? So he told you those things! It's not that I didn't understand him. The stories my grandmother used to tell me had Valkyria in them. Grandmother? I was an orphan! It was my grandfather and grandmother who raised me. They always told me stories, some strict, some tender. I loved them very much. Where are they now? Probably dead. Oh, yep. Two months ago, my grandmother died and I had no longer had a place to live. So I joined the militia, left my village, and started my search for my new paradise. When I left, I discovered that the outside world isn't so beautiful. Riella. What were you doing before you enlisted in the army? I was born in Rangris. My entire family runs a small emporium. I received a recommendation to go to military school. Thanks to my excellent grades, the school waived my tuition fee. Then you've been smart ever since you were a child! I've always liked to ponder over possible outcomes. So you like to ponder? Kurt, you must really stand out from the crowd! The way I think? There's nothing as scary as life. That's probably just your nature. I feel like it's quite natural. But why, Kurt? Why is it so natural? Currently, we still have a day's worth of travel before we reach the Imperial border. I hope we don't run in any setbacks. Status report! The village up ahead is being attacked by the Imperials! It looks like these people are the refugees that they've done that, 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 that have just <laughs> I'm sorry, my voice just kinda got a little messed up all of a sudden. They've just arrived though. What does that mean, Riella? What do you mean they just did that? Whoa, 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 Zary, whoa, whoa, whoa! You've gotta be kidding. How could the town watch fight Imperials? We have to help them! The Imperials won't spare civilians! Ah! Uh, uh, not this again. Hey, pull yourself together! Dang it, what are we going to do? I'm, I'm like, seriously, seizure warning, my gosh. <laughs> Kurt, will we go rescue them? The mission has priority. We can't. Captain, what's wrong? The report says that refugees are being attacked by the Imperials. How can that be? Can you go rescue them? If there is truly a need... We can't let them die! Inform everyone, please! Sir... He's gotta listen to him! I mean, the guy's basically the freaking Pope, I mean, you, might, you gotta listen to him, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, anyway, what is his title again? I don't even remember what his title is. The uh, Valkyria Salvation? I don't even remember what his title is, but the guy's freaking like, he's just like a pope basically, so I mean, I don't know. OP, evacuate the citizens. Victory, occupy targeted enemy bases. Ah, Joint up with Zeri, yeah! We finally have his name revealed. Now we know he's Zeri, even though we already knew he was Zeri. Oh gosh. Scout, Shock Trooper, Lancer, Elite, Sniper, Medium Tank, AMG Turret, and Sup. What's up, Schiller? I don't get it. In breeding, help the rural villagers escape an Imperial attack. Work with the Town Watch to occupy the base camps in areas 3 and 4. What is Zeri the Town Watch? What? Occupy two enemy base camps. Then you can occupy. So, in Area 4 and Area 3, huh? So, wait. What? 
So you're telling me one of the base camps is in the starting area? That's just weird. I mean, okay. It's in the same area as my own base camp. All right, let's do this. We got this. We can do it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's fine. I ended up bumping my microphone randomly real quick. I had to check and make sure my... I wasn't... I didn't turn it off on accident again. Because, you know, that'd be bad. I wouldn't want to have to do post-commentary again. No siree. Okay, Zary. What's up, man? How's it going? Let's see. You're pretty weak. What a surprise. I mean, you are... I mean, you are, after all, not very good at this point. You're, you're basically just barely been introduced here. You're composed, you're competitive, you've got darks and pride, and you're a quibbler. Really? Where's your genius status? That, that's all I want. I mean, you still have composed, which is nice. I think you had competitive as well. But I swear, you were a genius. Why can't you be a genius again? Oh, well, that's all right. What's... Huh? Did the screen just freak out randomly, or am I just hallucinating? <laughs> oh gosh. I don't want to see that happen again. Please don't let that happen again. I don't even know what that was all about. That was weird. So it doesn't look like we have anything crazy going on here, so that's alright, I suppose. Alright, the vehicle can go right there, because, I mean, we can just put the constructor on right there and be like, Yeah, look at that, constructor. Yeah, oh. Got it! I like instructor arms, let me tell you that right now. So. Let's see, the other area is area 3. There's area... Wait! Really?! You're telling me this is that easy of a mission to win? I mean, obviously I can't just go and win the freaking mission, because... <laughs> What's the point? Literally the only point... Like, the only point is to go get the ace! I'm going to go get the ace. I have to. Obviously, I have to go get the ace. Okay. Well, I suppose we can do that. Let's see then. Kurt, I will put you on A. Riel, I will put you on D. Let's see, we'll put another thing on uh, C, please. I think that's... Maybe all will do, or not. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's see, I'm assuming it's going to connect to one of those top one. I'm assuming it's a top right one. So I will want to actually go and capture it then. So maybe put out another scout, perhaps? Alphonse? I was going to say, maybe I don't deploy someone. Maybe I will, actually. Maybe it's a good idea. I hope I don't have any difficulties finding what I'm looking for here. Let's see, I'll put you on I. And you can go on G. You can go on H. Or actually, no, let's put a scout out there. Let's put a scout. Let's see. Or we don't have to put a scout. Let's put Shin. Hey, Shin, you can do that. Not to mention we already have a, a shock trooper there. I'm kind of just realizing. Might not have been the best idea. Or maybe it is the best idea. I like the best ideas. You know what? Instead of that, let's put you there. And we'll put you right there. How about that? I don't even know who I just did. I think I just went with Annika instead of Leela, but that's fine. That's okay. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let us begin the mission. <laughs> mission. Mission, 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 mission. Mission is a funny word when you think about it. Because you miss the yawn. Ah, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, come on. Break it down. You miss the ion? No, of course not. Get lost, Imperial scum. So, it's interesting. He has combat experience before he actually joins the academy. What? Those soldiers in black uniforms are Gallians? Wait, this reminds me. We are a special squad of Gallia. We've come with orders to destroy the Imperial Army. I don't want to cause trouble for a town watch. Please step aside. That person is... I've come to rescue you. Don't die on me. He... Yes. Don't worry. Why... I mean, he's not gonna die. Come on now. Don't be ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Well, so far it doesn't look like there's anything there. I'm guessing Area 2. 
I'm sure of it. The ace has to be in area two. Be honest, like area one and two are just completely pointless. Okay, area one's not completely pointless, but area two is completely pointless anyway. So the only thing I can think of is that the ace has to be there. It makes sense. No? It's nice to hear this theme song again. I haven't heard this in a while. <laughs> Time to interrupt it with direct command music. It almost sounds like something out of a horror movie, that sound effect. It's like, yep. Let's play sounds. I like sounds. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna have... Yeah, let's we'll have him do his own thing. Co-op, please. Co-op, please. Follow me. Thank you very much. I'd appreciate that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you are actually gonna... You're gonna have to get hit, it seems, actually. There you go. Take that. Take some of this. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Now what? Oh, there's no enemy here! Ha! Take that! <laughs> Freaking Riella. Okay. Well, at least she made it. At least she made it. I say we can just... Wait ourselves right there. What are you? Oh! It's Sup Schiller! He's not in Area 2! Are you kidding me? Well, this is going to be a really easy mission in that case. Alright. Well, I thought maybe... <laughs> we can just do this in one turn. I'm going to try and do this in one turn. I think we should. I'm going to. Gosh dang it, if I don't... Then I've done something wrong. Born Leader and Darks and Pride, you've done a two-for-one special. How could you, good sir? Just how could you? Okay. Okay, yes. Made it! Get that tank out of the way, please! Yeah, it's a medium tank. Hey, why would I want that in the, my face? Of course I don't. Don't need to even hit the radiator. Kaboom! You're dead. You've been defeated. And that guy's standing... Okay, this is gonna be like, like the freaking easiest story mission ever. I'm just ready for the one-turn victory here. Okay, Alphonse, you are going to... Oh. I'm not entirely confident I'm going to get the kill here, but I'm going to try. I mean, if I can maybe get a hit off from the side. Oh gosh, Lancer Elite! Excuse me? Didn't realize we had those guys going around today. Ooh, here, take some of this, please. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Well, that was easy. He's got a big freaking weapon. Look at that thing. What's your dodge rate? 10? Alright. Easy enough, then, in that case. Easy enough. Here. Prepare yourself. You're going to get some hits in. There you go! You're dead! Oh, wow! Look at that stuff! Ain't that just amazing? You got a kill. The ace is dead. Now we wait. I think I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see, Kurt, you're gonna go on standby. I did another test, actually, and it seems like when you do direct command, even, like, two times in a row, it seems like you still end up getting the same amount. So it doesn't really matter in the end, which is actually kind of neat. I like that. Uh, excuse me. Alright, so here's my plan now. My plan is gonna be to put her on standby, actually. I'm going to deploy Kurt in direct command mode immediately, please. Oh my gosh, I'm back. I'm doing another direct command. Ooh, better watch out. I guess in a way, it's also a good thing to use if I need to just, if I really need Kurt to get a kill or something, you know? Stop, stop shooting me. I don't need you shooting me, thank you very much. Okay, go up, thank you. All right, let's go capture flag today, please. You guys are gonna be ready to go. Prepare yourselves. Occupy the base. They're coming. They they came. They they followed. They did a thing. Congratulations. I'm gonna shoot at you from long range because I feel like it. Boom, 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 boom. That's doing no damage. But hey, you know what's better than nothing? Maybe it'll make Zeri or the other guy kill. Actually, what am I talking about? That's not going to work like that. Here's my idea. I'm going to have Zeri do a thing. 
I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to join my squad, but... Just like I don't think Welkin and the others are going to be able to do it. But hey, you know what? I don't know. Hey, duck. Oh, you can't duck. Never mind. Fine. Don't duck. I don't care. You don't need to duck if you don't want to, Zeri. You're fine. You're okay. Well, congrats to you, Zeri. You did a thing. Now, you will be more powerful than ever before when you start Valkyria Chronicles 2. Now, Shin, go capture the base! Fordenborn. Why is that a problem? Who cares? Okay, I get it. People get homesick. But still, I mean, I don't know. You can be stronger than that, can't you? Wait. Success! If this continues, the Imperial Army will... Oh, no. It's, it's, a, it's, a false, it's a false reading. It's actually not the end, is it? Wait. That's... It looks like that's the enemy's main force. Everyone, change of objective. Our new target is to eliminate the enemy commander. If we kill the commander, the enemy will fall to pieces. Move out! Okay, now I understand why there's more areas. Oh, great. Amazing. That decision was made without a second thought. I... I'll definitely keep on living. Wait, he didn't have a will to live? What, what the heck? Zeri, that's not what I expected out of you, man. The victory condition has changed to destroy the command tank. Strategic reinforcements. During missions, the enemy will sometimes receive reinforcements from areas other than their camps. This is a special tactic available only to the enemy called strategic reinforcement. As the placement of such reinforcements are unpredictable, our bases can be caught off guard. Don't keep all your units in one place, otherwise the sudden reinforcements will be difficult to handle. Ugh, excuse me. Ah, alrighty then. Well, I was not expecting that. I can say I might be a little bit disappointed, in fact. I'm like, oh, one turn victory! Hooray! That's fantastic. Now I kind of regret doing this, because that means I could have captured that flag after all, and... Alright, well, I suppose what I'm gonna do... Actually, wait a second. I can still do this really easily, actually. Heck with that. I don't need Alphonse. I need you. Or do I? Or Valerie. Actually, I don't know. I'm just gonna use you. You have more health. I think you're more trustworthy, personally, because you have the health. And Sniper, huh? Huh! You don't say. I think I want to go this way. Oh, dang, there's a shock trooper. Or there's two things here. Loneliness? No! Anything but loneliness. Stop. Stop. Oh, I don't I still understand why being a shorty is a good thing, but okay. I mean, some people like being a shorty. Why do you like being a shorty? Answer me that. Amy Apple. Oh. Well, I'm now disappointed that didn't work out the way I wanted to. Ah! I pressed the wrong button, but I don't care. It works. End phase? Yes, please. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm probably gonna lose my base. I'm probably gonna get sniped, aren't I? Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Oh no, they arrived in that area. Oh gosh, there's a single sniper and there's a lancer? This could be potentially very, very bad if that doesn't end up the way I want it to end up. Okay, 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 okay. Still alive. Oh gosh, miss, thank you. Oh! Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hacks! Okay. It's official, Amy Apple's OP. Uh, ah, ah, you're OP! What the heck? Just couldn't. <laughs> Just couldn't die, could you? I'm glad you couldn't. Oh, man. Well, that's not cool. Well, somehow we didn't lose a base. Somehow Amy didn't die. And, well, yeah. Oh, they're both in the base. Now nah, it's disappointing. Okay, well, that's fine, too. Let's see. If I do this... I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a plan... It involves throwing grenades again, because throwing grenades is fun. Take this! Ah! Did, did I do it? Did I do it? Oh! Oh no, I can't do it! No! 
Don't be happy about getting shot just because you're short. That doesn't make any sense. You don't do that. Oh, he's actually in the base. I thought he wasn't in the base. No. What about you? Are you in the base? You are in the base. Gosh dang it, they're both in the base. Now I have reason to be disappointed in things. Well? Well, well, well. What are you? Are you a... You're just, uh, okay, I mean, you're just, you're basically just, uh, not really anything special. You don't really do personnel very well. You don't really do armor very well. Your accuracy sucks. Your range is weak. You just have a high number of shots. That's basically it, so, okay. I don't see what's so special about you. You're more, I guess you're better for intercepting fire than you are for just shooting at people, I guess. That's cool, I guess. Kinda wish I left him in the zone. Didn't think it was gonna be necessary, though. Oh, wait. I don't need a hold. Do I still need to hold on to these zones? Hold on. Objective. Five turns. Oh, yeah. Totally. Enemy occupied. Victory defeat tank co. Do I. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Enemy occupies ally base camp. It doesn't say anything about protecting the other areas, though. Well, I don't know if it's still necessary because they're still highlighted on the map, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe I should keep some people in there just in case, right? All right, you can go on standby. Uh, I don't really want to mess around with Area 3 anymore. Or do I? Maybe I do. Let's see. I wouldn't be able to get deep to do that, so let's try... Let's try... I don't know. I need to go with a freaking... One of these people. Because I think that just makes a little bit more sense. That's just me, though. I don't think she'll be able to reach, though. And since I don't think she'll be able to reach, I'm going to try and fire at the sniper right now. Just to... Just to get him out of the way. Yeah. Way to be a great sadist. I'm proud of you. You did, you did well today. Good job. You're the, you're the best sadist ever. Oh, come on! How did you know I was coming? I was coming from the side. You shouldn't have seen me coming. Alright, it's fine. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to shoot me. I don't... I, no, no permission for you today. Am I... I think I'm at... I think I'm right at head level. Alright, help me out, please. Come on. Come on, yeah! Alright! Mission accomplished. You did it. Now we got five morale. Oh my gosh, that's like the highest morale we've ever had so far. Alright, I think I'll leave you here. I'll put Amy on standby. And then we can go ahead and just... We can just go ahead and massacre everyone. How about that? Does that sound good? You... You, someone, I don't know. You! No. Not you. You! I'm gonna use you first, I'm gonna scout out ahead, and then I'm gonna see what the scout needs to do to capture that base. I think that's a good idea anyway. There you go, good job! You did it! You defeated an enemy! Congratulations to you! Oh gosh, there is an enemy in here. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, you better watch out, because I'm here for you now. Wait a second, I'm stupid. Bring out the freaking tank. What am I doing? Just put the tank on freaking standby or retreat it, whatever, I don't care. That works too. Put it on retreat mode, pull it out, and let the chaos unfold. How about that? There we go. There's some chaos. I like chaos. Oh, okay. There's a mine. Avoid the mine at all costs, please. And there we go. And, and there we go. Just two turns. Defeated? No, not yet. The next shot will defeat it, though. <laughs> oh, prepare yourself. You're going down, Tank Co. I'm, I'm just going to hit him from the front. Whoa! That's a dead tank we got right there. Mission complete! It just took one extra turn. Big whoop. Ah, I'm speechless. I'm so speechless that I actually said something. That doesn't make any sense. 
Avon, I blame you. Wait, who's Avon? How do I know that name? I'm thinking I'm having a vision of the future, perhaps. 12,558 experience, 17,940 done. MT001. That's a lot of people skill leveled up anyway. That's cool. I can't wait until Kurt gets his next thing. Because he's just going to keep on skill leveling up until he's done. Kurt's hobby. What is Kurt's hobby? I do wonder. Let's find out. Right now, not on the next exciting episode. No cliffhanger today. The operation is over. Amy, tell the refugees that the danger is past. Everyone, his eminence, Borgia, is the one who has rescued us today. Oh, Borgia, your eminence. Thank you. I am glad that everyone is safe. You've just received the Valkyria's protection. It's because of his eminence, Borgia, that we've received the Valkyria's protection. Ah, oh, is that so? It looks like that person's influence is quite strong. When I saw that uniform, I was wondering if it would be you. And it is! You were that kid from before. My name is Zeri. What's yours? Kurt. You saved me again. Thank you. You should be thanking his eminence, Borgia. No. You were the ones who risked their lives. So you're the ones who deserve thanks. Kurt, will we be garrisoned in the village tonight? That sounds appropriate. Given that we can let his eminence and the squad members rest for a bit. Hey, Darkson, don't tell me this is... That's right, my benefactor, Gooserge. Benefactor? That's something I should be saying. Eh? Without, w without Kurt's assistance, I wouldn't be able to stand here today. Kurt, you got help from a Gallian. Do you not believe me? I'm not lying or anything. One day you'll meet a person who will change your life too. <laughs> I wonder who that will be. That person may not be a Darkson. Gooser. You should head back now. The less we know each other, the better. A person that will change my life. Oh, you better believe it, Zary. You better freaking believe it. You don't even know the half of it. It's a good thing we rescued those villagers today. That's right. Hmm. That's wrong. This isn't the flavor. Too bitter. Next time, I'll use less of it. I'd like to ask you a question. Just what are you up to? We can grow all sorts of herbs, spices, in every environment. Cooking is my hobby. I didn't think you would like this kind of thing. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Although what I do isn't real cooking. I just add herbs and spices. How do you come to like this? There's nothing right or wrong in cooking. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was constantly researching the subject. I was just tasting my food, by the way. That's the only reason I burped right now. For example, the foods people like in the summer and winter are completely different. Uh, not for me. I kind of like the same foods all times of year, personally, but that's just me. Really? I mean, yeah, some might be a little bit more appropriate for the time of year. Like, let's just say it's not even food. Like, so let's just take hot chocolate, for example. You'd rather have that during the winter during the, than during the summer. But no matter the time of the year, they're good all times of the year, so I mean, I don't know, I'm just saying though. You know the difference between cooking in the morning or at night, right? Probably. Well, just a bit. Oh, alright, I have no idea. If it involves herbs and spices, it just gets even more complicated. Humidity, temperature, season, freshness of ingredients. These are all things that will affect the taste. Cooking is a world full of infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities? Just from this powder? If you use it correctly, then it can make even army rations taste delicious. Isn't that useful? Hmm. I know it has many uses. But in the end, just what exactly are you trying to do? Whatever he feels like doing, of course. What else would it be? Oh 
no, did I fall asleep? It's already morning! Good morning, Riella. You're still working on it? Hmm. I guess I wasn't keeping track of the time. My word, did I spend the night in your room? I saw you fall asleep, so I didn't want to wake you. What? Oh no! I didn't do anything to you. I know that, but the rumors will spread quickly among the others! I mean... Yeah, maybe? Possibly? I mean, you know how people like to freaking gossip about random stuff. Hey, so I heard number seven and Riella slept together. Hmm, then I guess I need to educate that brat. Unwritten rule. I was just working with seasoning. Come on, guys. Dot, dot, dot. You are indecent. <laughs> That's all you have to say? I mean, these people don't know anything. I mean, yeah, okay, rumors spread pretty fast. How did that rumor spread? Who freaking saw that? I don't get it. Chef Battle of the Gods? Oh, gosh. Border Battlefield? I think that's an event that's worthy of the next episode now, everyone. I will see you next time, because that is truly the battle of the century. <laughs> Who wins? Giulio or Kurt? I wonder. That is Giulio, right? I, I, I'm still not used to all the names of the people yet. I think it's Giulio, though. Uh, Gi Giulio, I should be saying. I shouldn't be saying Giulio anymore. Freaking Joe setting me straight on that, saying it's Giulio. Sounds weird. Apparently that's what it is. I don't know. Either way, who wins? You know what? You know what? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a poll right here. Who's going to win the chef battle of the gods? Assuming it gets resolved in this cutscene. Is Kurt going to win the battle of the gods? Or is Julio going to win the battle of the gods? Tell me what you think. <laughs> Next time, we find out exactly who the best chef really is. Look forward to it. And be hungry, gosh dang it. Be really, really hungry.